Welcome to this new episode where I am going to work on the sales from scratch. The first step that I made is using my computer and a 3D software, I designed the sale with the different parameters. What is the length of this one and the base? And also the deep. Like if you see here, it has a curvature. And it's not it's not flat. It's like a, a airplane wing. It has some measures like from where is the the top part of the sail. It will create these different panels. Like this one is one panel. And this one is another one. It creates these panels with a little of cut off here. So it's like a little curvature here and another one here. And at the same one with this one. So when you put it together, it creates this curvature on the join of the two pieces. And I did that in, in this scale, smaller to see if the this is going to have like good results. Is it going to work or not? Then researching what kind of material I can use to make the cells. And some people mention Dacron on the internet, but then I went to like Hobby Lobby and trying to look for that and I didn't know which one was the correct one. So then I decided that some people also use curtains. I saw this one in in Target for dollars and I decided to buy it and give it a try. So it's like a fabric, but covering with plastic. And I use this material. Then. These are the real size patterns for the main cell. I just printed it out in different uh, pages and then glued it together. So I have a pattern for, for cutting the, the sail. I'm going to use this Sharpie marker to mark the lines where I'm going to cut on the material. Then I proceed to cut the material. And here we have the first part is the upper part of the cell, main cell. Next step is sewing these two panels together. This is a result. We have our first two panels sew it together. The main cell was my first attempt and I was at the beginning trying to use a double tape to put together the different segments of the cell but it was not holding well with this material. So I decided to buy a sewing machine I used one and 
then trying to sew the different panels. And I am not an expert in sewing, but I think that it did the work. And also I bought these little pieces here to pass through the, the rope and to prevent tearing the, the material. So this one was one, two, three, four, five, six different panels. And then here in this part, you can see that there is two paths where I saw, I use the machine here, and I create like a pocket and I insert this little piece of plastic to reinforce this section at the end. So you have that little piece of plastic until here, the same one in this part, all over the way until the top under. And the Genoa was my second attempt. So I think this one has a better finish than the main sail. And, and yeah, I think to be my first sales that I make using this new new way, I think they are really good. And they have that shape. I don't know if you can see here, guys, but it has a, that wing shape. And then I'm using this wire here. Is uh, this wire? I create like a, also like a pocket here, sewing one piece with another one. So I create like a a, a pocket where I pass that that wire from the top to here. And also here on the main cell. I am planning to put some uh, reinforcements here to not allow this separation here. So that's something that I had to do. Like, uh, like a little rings. And then I'm going to put it here with a hole and then put it here with some glue and then maybe using a thread and then put it together here. But I'm really happy with these uh, with these sales that I that I made from scratch. Hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to the channel to support more content like this. If you have questions, guys, leave me comments on the bottom. And I will see you on the next one. Thank you.